So overnight, Prince William and Prince Harry fired back at the BBC. And we also heard Prince Harry speak candidly about what it was like living in the royal family, not just about Meghan's struggles, but also his own. What words have you heard around mental health? Crazy? Lost it. Can't keep it together. This morning, a candid Prince Harry like we've never seen him. In the first look from his upcoming oh docuseries with Oprah, The Me You Can't See, he opens up about losing his mother and his mental health struggles. He talks about parting his way through the pain in his 20s before meeting Meghan and seeking therapy. And I quickly established that if this relationship was, was going to work, that I was going to have to deal with my past because there was anger there. And it wasn't anger at her, it was, it was just anger. And she recognized it, she saw it. He goes on to say his fears that his wife would end up like his mother relationship. was the reason they ultimately left the UK. Overnight, Princes William and Harry also had strong words for the BBC about their mother and the investigation into her famous 1995 interview with Martin Bashir. It brings indescribable sadness to know that the BBC's failures contributed significantly to her fear paranoia and isolation that I remember from those final years with her. Prince Harry echoing his older brother, our mother lost her life because of this and nothing has changed. Five times a day. 25 years after 20 million people watched that interview, now an independent inquiry has found that Bashir lied to both Diana's brother and to the BBC to obtain the interview. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse. The report also accuses the public broadcaster of a cover-up. The BBC has apologized publicly, but also in letters to the brothers. In a statement, Bashir also apologized, but pointed to this letter, published for the first time as evidence alongside the report. On Kensington Palace stationery, Diana wrote in December of 1995, she had no regrets. Now, Bashir says he is still immensely proud of that interview. We should say he left the BBC last week because of ongoing health problems, and he did used to work for MSNBC. Savannah? Molly, let's talk about Prince Harry. He also has made some headlines and some real revelations uh, about him and about Meghan and what they went through during her pregnancy. Savannah, that's right. And it's a really honest, raw conversation that Prince Harry has. So Prince Meghan, sorry, Prince Duchess Meghan spoke about this in her interview with Oprah. She spoke about having real suicidal thoughts. Now Harry speaks about this more. He talks about the night that she confided him. And he says she was so afraid of hurting him, of him losing another person that he loved. He also says he was ashamed by his reaction. He was angry that he had put them in this position. They were out smiling for the cameras, pretending that everything was OK when everything so clearly was not. Guys. All right, Molly Hunter, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.